The world of technology has made great leaps in the last 50 years. The hardware on our desks has transformed enormously. The software inside our devices has also changed beyond all recognition. But there's one area that remains a total mess. The stuff under our desks. The underwear. Are your cables under your desk going commando? They need underwear. Are you suffering from a cable wedgie? Put some underwear on it. Are you tired of awkward metal grills, non-modular cable runs, or dozens of disconnected solutions that make you embarrassed to look down there? Some solutions are okay to drop cables in, but then a total pain to take out, move, or add new cables to. Well, Say goodbye to death by cable and try out my underwear. Hey all. Well, I've covered this briefly in my previous video and I've had so many requests. I thought I'd do a whole video about underwear, my universal cable management solution, and share the complete collection, totally free. As usual, I've designed my underwear with three golden rules in mind. It's grid-based, flexible, and modular. So unlike other solutions which sacrifice either flexibility for aesthetics or the other way around, underwear can be both. I have found myself lying under my desk, just admiring it. And I challenge you not to do the same if you adopt this solution. There's no need for those careful 30 degree angled shots of the table that you see in so many online videos. You know, the ones that you can't actually see the table management but look at my pot plant and slap wall instead. Don't you want a desk that looks good from any angle? And on top of that, one that is incredibly easy to manage. Okay, okay, calm down. If you like the sound of getting your own underwear, then let me take you through the whole system, the problems it solves and how to set it up yourself. Firstly, underwear is a free and open source solution designed to make cable management Beautiful. As I've mentioned in my other home organization videos, you need a 3D printer. And to those of you who've asked which one, well, my current no brainer recommendation is Bamboo Labs. Mine are amazing and super easy to use. And there's a link to my recommendations on my site, so check out the description. With underwear, cables can seamlessly flow from one location to another without clutter and mess meaning swapping them in future becomes a breeze. The baseline of underwear is that it's designed to work with multi-board grid from just making. You can get that for free at the link in the description. And this gives a super strong mounting grid on which everything else can be built. And it's how you get that modular flexibility to move things quickly and easily wherever you need to route them. You can add extra channels when you add a new cable or change the direction and swap out equipment for new versions, all whilst maintaining a beautiful appearance. As you'll know from my other videos, I use these multi-board grids all over the house. Everything is designed to be seamless and beautiful, so cable runs are hidden with a single click. Unruly cords can be neatly wrapped and power strips are perfectly enclosed by parametric holders that you can customize to the precise dimensions that you need. Power, USB, HDMI, everything fits. And because you can print in whatever darn color you wish, you can have it absolutely perfectly matching your desk. You could print in copper for your steampunk look, white for clean minimalism, or marble to suit your mansion. You just click and cover, beautiful. It's not just aesthetics though. As you can see, it maintains perfect separation between the wires, making it impossible for cables to become tangled and knotted. It just makes swapping them in future a complete breeze. 
In fact, I swapped these around a few times as I was experimenting with the best layout. And I was, I was just grinning the whole time. Separation also gives you control to isolate cables that are sensitive to electromagnetic interference, removing just another one of those little niggles. The whole complexity of your under desk wiring becomes clean, clear and labelled flowing grooves. So let me give you a quick tour of my underwear collection. Cables can be housed in these sleek channels which you can easily open. They come in all different lengths with sharp corners, gentle curves, T-junctions, cross pieces and more. For more temporary cabling that you need to regularly move around, like USB cables or headphone wires, then for this you can use hooks to let you create neat coils of gorgeousness. Here I've actually just mounted the underwear directly to the wall with command strips as I know this plug socket is never going to move. There's even cable channel mounts for down table legs with these nifty rounded adapters. So you'll never be embarrassed of your underwear again. <clears throat> now I come to my lovely hooks. I don't need to stuff a bundle of wires inside a box. I can wind them around one or two hooks to keep it all neat and tidy. Oh goodness. Where was I? So the beauty of this collection being 3D printed is that you can just extend it whenever you need to perfectly suit your situation. As I mentioned, you can print it in any colour to match your table, but it's not just any colour. You can have a carbon fibre finish, holographic polygons or sparkly stars. You can make it glow in the dark if you want. And have you twigged yet? You can print the tops in transparent filament and swoosh. Faster than Inigo Montoya can draw his sword, you've got a perfectly fully modular plug and play under desk lighting solution that you can swap around whenever you fancy. Labeling is also super simple, however you want to do it. You can stick labels like I have to maintain modularity for future, or if you're creating a core channel system where you're certain the labels aren't likely to change, then it's just super easy to add custom labels in any decent slicer. Orca Slicer is brilliant at this. To do this, you simply load a model from my collection, select the emboss tool, position the text where you want it, type the label name, And bang, a permanent label is added. Installation is a simple process. Number one, print out your multi-board grids and screw to the underside of the table. If you have annoying bars like me and want channels to bridge across them, you need to make sure that the distance between the multi-board octagons are maintained. I did this by fixing a channel across the bar and screwing it in whilst it was attached. Number two, print out the pieces you need. Because this is 3D printed, you can just do this iteratively. Print some eye pieces first, encase the main wires by clicking on the top piece and then figure out what else you need. This is agile cable management at its best. To take the wire out, then you can just easily remove the top piece. Number three, all pieces are mounted with a screw mount or a click mount. For the click mount, you need to print out these. Insert the nipple into the hole and tighten. I would recommend putting a dab of super glue in there because you'll never need to remove them and it'll ensure A, alignment and B, extra strength if you're whipping off your underwear in a hurry in a year or two. But the super glue is an optional step, and to be honest, I didn't use it. For multi-connect pieces, you just need a screw from David D and just slip the underwear on. There's so many places around the house that I'm turning this to. My craft room has it for beautiful neatness. My daughter's room has it for safety and for keeping those cables off the desk where she might spill a drink on it. 
So parents, crafters, gamers, professionals, woodworkers, and everyone else, you need to get some underwear. On sale today at the killer price of nothing. I've got all the files available on my site, so feel free to pinch my underwear if you want to transform your cable management forever. And yes, I am going through all the puns that my Patreons came up with in this video, and I'm going to do it with a straight face. So how can you help fix the world's underwear challenges? Well, if you find this helpful, then share it with others. There's nothing better than getting momentum behind open source ideas. If you've got great ideas for other underwear designs, comment below because I'll continue to extend the collection for every unusual length and girth. I'm not going there. But just check my site where I'll keep the latest versions updated. If you're a key modeler, then feel free to add to the collection yourself. As I said, it's all open source and I'm happy to share any dimensions, files or anything that helps. And finally, if you'd like to fuel more of these videos, then you can be extra awesome and join my Patreon or become a YouTube member. Indeed, a special thanks to my Patreons for all their brilliant ideas, suggestions, and so willingly trying out early access to my underwear for the last few weeks. Especially Daniel, who was extra keen to test it and shared some great photos of his underwear too. So let's solve underwear for good. Just think, we could solve cable management forever. And we finish with some brief extra views of underwear in action. Let's fix cable management from the bottom up. Catch you next time, folks.